Thank you. When Larry Dominic was first running for Cicero town president four years ago, he promised to clean up the town notorious for bad behavior. Is Cicero ready for reform? I sure hope so. But today some of his female employees say Dominic's own behavior could get him into trouble. He said, if I win, will you flash me? He says, well, why don't you and your mom, uh, all three of us, why don't we have a threesome? He would make um, vulgar uh, um, comments about things he wanted to do to me sexually. Some current and former Cicero female employees are speaking out about Dominic. Based on the lawsuits, the allegations against the town president go way beyond talking dirty. He even got up from his chair and even placed his hand inside my vest to fill my breast. Groping, fondling uh, of the breasts, of the crotch. Terry Just Moran physical. says Dominic physically assaulted his client Sharon Starzik. Earlier today, she became the fourth Cicero employee to file a sexual harassment suit against Dominic and other town officials. She says she kept quiet about his abuse for three years because she was terrified of losing her job. Here's your number. Starzik runs Cicero's animal shelter. She and her parents have serious health problems and need the insurance they get from the town. She says Dominic, a former Cicero police sergeant, also bombarded her with dirty text messages. I couldn't call the police, which I had thoughts of calling the police because he is the police. When some of the other women filed their lawsuits, their lawyer subpoenaed Starzik. She says Dominic advised her to lie under oath. He says, deny, deny, deny. I said, I can't. There's too many witnesses. And he told me it was my word against theirs. She was between a rock and a hard place. It, she either would testify truthfully under oath and risk retaliation, or she would perjure herself and, and risk being criminally prosecuted. Mm -hmm. Janet Lejano, a Cicero police officer and mother of three, understands the fear. It made me feel uncomfortable. But I mean, I didn't know what to do. She says she waited two years before complaining about Dominic's abuse. Dominic casts a large shadow at Cicero's town hall. He has packed the payroll with relatives and cronies loyal to him. His son is the town's human resources director, and his brother-in-law works in internal affairs. When Dominic was first running for town president, he was eager to speak with me, but now... I can't find him. Is Larry in now? No, he's not in today. He might have left early, I'm not sure. Larry Dominic has ignored my repeated requests for interviews. However, the Cicero town president did defend himself in a videotaped deposition. Have you ever referred to any woman's breasts in the workplace as titties? No. Dominic held firm, insisting he did nothing wrong to any of his female employees during a lengthy deposition with attorney Dana Kurtz. No. Have you ever referred to women as sluts? No. Dominic also said he did not tolerate sexual harassment in Cicero. Does the town of Cicero have a zero tolerance policy on sexual harassment? Yes. And what does that mean? We don't. There's zero tolerance. You can't talk like that. You can't touch them. But Athena Salomo says after she complained to Dominic about her supervisor's physical and verbal sexual harassment, he was promoted twice and she was punished. I was refused overtime. I was written up, suspended. A Cicero spokesman says the man was sent to sensitivity training, suspended, and deserved a second chance. He dismisses the women as disgruntled employees who are suing for political reasons, but Starsek says she actually campaigned for Dominic in the last election in a desperate bid to hold on to her job. Some of the others say they also supported him when he ran in 2005. These are among the most disgusting and personally offensive allegations I've ever seen against a public official. The Better and Government Association is calling on law enforcement to step in. BGA Director Andy Shaw says history shows Cicero cannot police itself. We're calling on State's Attorney Anita Alvarez, Attorney General Lisa Madigan, maybe even U.S. Attorney Patrick Fitzgerald to get out to Cicero post haste and look into this. Dominic spokesperson says no one who has complained or sued has been fired, but the women say working there is punishment enough. Always on me all the time. I mean, and it's hard because it's stressful, really stressful.